Hey guys, what's going on? We're here in a Kerbal Space Program today. Thought I'd put up, you know, I, just, I decided to start a, a sandbox. I've got a few mods in here. I got like tax life support, remote tech, um, environment visual enhancements, with I believe it's the astronomer's visual pack. So Kerbin looks beautiful. So do all the other planets. It's nice. We have clouds, as you'll see in just a little bit. But um, back to the the build, I decided to start with uh, some satellites. I gotta get some kind of satellite constellation going, and well, the only way to do that is to build a satellite probe. No, I sat here for a while trying to figure out which which ones I wanted to put on, which antennae. But antennae? Antenna? I don't know. I ended up going with two of the omnidirectional ones. They have about a 1.5 megameter range. And then the two deployable ones, which are... I don't know, I missed it when it was popped up there. They might be like 50 megameters. But those apparently, as I later found out, you need one on each probe or each vessel that is pointing at each other. If it's not pointing at each other, they don't connect. So, you know, we learned some things. Things worked out, but I slapped those, that guy into a, yeah, sub-assembly. And we plop three of them on top, give them a little translate and rotate, and make them fit there nice so when they deploy they don't smash into each other. And just, you know, standard little, little interstage there. Something to be able to push it around. I think we just, you know, outfit that with some batteries and some of its own comm dishes since, you know, once we deploy those three sats, we still want to have communication, otherwise we can't control it anymore. Which is a bitch. I put four on there, just, you know, symmetry to keep things balanced out. And I slap a nice fairing on here and make it look, make it look nice and sleek, nice and beautiful. Pretty sure I go ahead and tweak the uh, color to make it, make it nice and black and white. Uh, and, oh. Oh yeah, four sides. Turns out 50 ejection force is a little high, but I'll keep that in mind for future builds. Because I pretty much reused these sats for a couple different things and made minor tweaks to them in between each launch. And right now I'm trying to like, what in the hell is going on with this rock engine I have at the bottom? What, what is going on? It's garbage. Until it has like no thrust. I, I dislike. I don't know why it weighs so much, but dislike. There we go, we got the KCOM system, Mark 1. Slap some fin grids on there, and, or fin grids, woo. Some wings, pretty much, winglets. Give it some more stability. And there she is, all nice and finished. And we'll launch that puppy now. All right, chilling on the launch pad, and let's go. We're going to space today. Pretty much standard launch. We zip through it, angle up a little, boosted the uh, yeah, waps us up to, I believe these ones shot to 800,000 meters. And we'll level out. There's not really too much to talk about through this. I'll be back when uh, we get up there. Coming up on it, 800k. Woohoo! Look at that beautiful, beautiful fairing deployment. Separation. Let's get out all those solar panels, and I started messing with some of the, some of the antenna just to make sure I didn't lose communication at all. And I don't know how a lot of you guys play, but I love maneuver nodes. And with a remote tech, I can set my maneuver node. I can tell uh, remote tech, hey. Tell my probe, execute this maneuver, and look at that. About three minutes beforehand, it's going to make sure it's pointing the right way, and then it's going to fire it on its own, whether it has signal or not. As long as I tell it to do it beforehand, it's good. I'm going to just boost up here and put this sucker into a dive orbit. And that way, every time I go around one orbit, I can deploy another satellite, and they'll be pretty much equidistant from each other.
And here we go, super satellite deployment. It's coming up. I think I actually go, yeah, see I'm not at Apoapsis, so I shot around. And I do believe as soon as I got the signal, yep. Deploy that one. Ooh, it was a little janky there, but it survived. Nothing did, nothing broke. Get that all nice and set up. Deployed. We're gonna set that one, I believe, to, yep, active vessel. It's just satellite deployment. Bang that out. And then we pretty much go around two more times and deploy the other two. Be back for the uh, retro burn of the main vessel and watch it burn up. Okay, so we just watched that first one get sent out. Apparently, I do do some editing magic. I screwed up and didn't show the main vessel do its, you know, one orbit. <laughs> but I show you it did three quarters of an orbit, and then I detached, and here's me, you know, setting up the second one. Actually, that might be the third one that's going up, technically. Like, number three in the constellation. I think I screwed up going around. But either way, man, we get them all up there. It's nice. All right, here we are. Time to get that deorbit burn going. Ha <laughs> ha! Say bye bye to this now useless piece of property. Oh, it's the moon! Look at it. This is so nice. Just chilling over there. It's gonna be one of our one of our first targets for for a Kerbal launch. Oh oh oh! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Everything's burning up. But anyway, as I was saying about the moon, the whole purpose of the, con the constellation is I gotta get everything set up around Kerbin and around the moon. Get some nice connectivity there. And then I can send a probe out to the moon to see how long it actually takes to go out to the moon, orbit, and back around. Maybe, maybe even land something. Maybe I'll make a little moon rover. I'm not sure yet. I haven't gotten that far. But. You know, the goal is to just send Kerbals out there, but I have attack life support, so I gotta know how much food and oxygen and all that shit to send with them. Oh! That did not survive. It's over. And oh, here we are. Here we are. We got our second launch. This launch is sending up basically the same satellites, except, oh, what did I do here? Oh. Oh, no, no. That's something I do with movie magic. <laughs> all those satellites we deployed originally when I launched it, and recorded the launching and then it recorded the build. There was no SAS modules on the probes. So I kind of went back in there and I added them and I relaunched them and, you know, picked up recording after that. But these ones, I do believe I have four of the uh, deployable antennae. I really need to look up the name of those and jot that down so that I remember. But we got, uh, I think I just had four of those. And might have taken off. Oh, you know, I took off the omnidirectionals and I added one omnidirectional one on the top that has a three megameter radius. I believe you can see it, just a little nub up there. And yeah, we got four of the deployable ones. Because what I found out with the original constellation is they couldn't communicate with each other reliably with the omnis, even though they should. Like, I didn't break it down and do the math, but like, they should be close enough. And they're not. 
So I deployed these ones. They're going at like roughly a 45 degree orbit. And I just popped three of those into an orbit there. They're all on the same plane and everything. I haven't tweaked it. I might still. I might kick one to polar. One to 45 like west and one to 45 east. Just make it look pretty. But anywho, yeah. These ones go up, give constant communication around curve, and it helps solidify everything. It comes together nicely. But, you know, another satellite deployment. Enjoy. And there we are, we got our second set of satellites up into orbit, deorbit this main vessel, and enjoy the fireworks. Oh, look at this thing come in. It's coming in engine first. If memory serves me, part of this survives. Come on. Get on down there. I really put this back to normal speed a little early, I think. Oh well. Note for next time. Pay more attention. Alright, and here we go. Touchdown at 103. <laughs> 8 meters per second. Okay, uh, apparently I cut off that little bit, my bad, but here's our constellation. Here's it in action, sped up 1000x. And, you know, pretty good coverage. It seems like the, most of the satellites always have a connection. Looks pretty decent. So, with that, the next thing we can do is send a constellation out to the moon. And here it is. And it looks like from my notes here, I changed the antenna configuration just a little bit on this. And I also edited an old build of it that didn't have the SAS module, didn't know, and this launch that you're seeing now doesn't have the SAS module anymore. Found this out later and I had to redo it. So that's fine. Not much you can do about that. But other than that, it's a glorious launch. The 
so with this launch, I'm pretty much taking the most direct route to the moon possible. I timed out my, my launch window for when I knew the moon would be popping up on me over the horizon shortly after the moon. I'm reaching like 60k or so. And once you see the moon pop up over the horizon, if you burn straight at your target vector, you'll go right at the moon. You don't need no maneuver nodes, nothing. You just shoot straight out there and boop, there it is. And then slowly burn out until you get your periaps where you want it. 400k seems to be the number I shot for. That's where we're going to deploy these sats. Oh, that's right. I had to go through and uh, edit my satellites, make sure they were all pointing like at the moon, I believe I set them all to. I don't think it's flying by. I either switched them to have a active vessel or point at the moon. Either way, we have connection the whole way out there, and see you later, Kerbin. Hello, moon. Or moon. You never know. Right, as we're here, we're supposed to be and we're heading into a, another one of those dive orbits. The second set of sats we set up it was more of a resonant orbit because I had to raise my apoapsis so high. And then this lovely moment where I can't find the moon. I have no idea where it is, but I know it's right there. The moon is right there in front of us. It's, 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 it's right there. You can't see it because it's eclipsed by Kerbin, but it's there. And it was like driving me nuts. It was tweaking me out in the moment. Well, there goes satellite one. This gigantic schnoz. Look at the size of that thing. Jeez. Then I'll pop all three of these into 400 by 400. Or 400K by 400K. And I'm pretty sure we just plow that main vessel right into the moon. Just, just slam it on there and make another crater. Good times will be had by all. Doing our deorbit burn, quick and painless, and here we are, smashing in. We got a nice, nice set, uh, sunset there. <laughs> a little bit of clipping. Here's our beautiful c c constellation. Next time, we're heading for the moon. See ya. <laughs>